Hey Roses, I'm back again with another nail video, but the star of today's show is this Madame Glam Soak Off Rubber Base. Yes, trying it for the first time. Y'all will see how this goes. Welcome and welcome back, Roses. This is Alina, otherwise known as Alina Roseanne. Before we even get started, thank you to Madame Glam for sponsoring today's video. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you go ahead and subscribe, hit the notification bell, give this video a thumbs up, and leave me a comment. So I'm going through another package here I received from Madame Glam. And just looking at the different colors that I chose, and we'll get more into that in just a moment. Okay, so first color here is called Deep Burgundy. As you can see, it's definitely a Deep Burgundy. Next color here is called Shining Star. And the next color we have here, this one is Spooky Pants. The next one is Pistachio. Looks like pistachio to me. The next one here, this is called Give Me Pie. <laughs> I wonder why. And what we have here last but not least, this is the rubber base in the color Brazil. Okay, so getting into this while we're just, you know, getting into the swatches here. If you haven't heard of Madame Glam, Madame Glam obviously is a nail company. They supply so many different products on their website and all of their gel polishes are vegan, cruelty-free, 21 free formula and HEMA free and 21 free means it does not have some of the worst 21 toxins in it so those are not in that and I really love that about Madame Glam all of these colors are nice creamy uh, the colors I chose are very opaque now this one here I wasn't really sure of because it has chunky glitter in it um, but I wanted to go with something a little different. It's a little milky to me also. I also noticed with the pistachio, the pistachio seemed a little thinner when I first uh, applied it to the tip here. But again, it ends up being the same opacity of all the other polishes I have. Okay, so for some reason I chose two different oranges this time. I'm not sure. But one of them is, yeah, that one. I just did is a little bit more orange than the other one. The other one, Spooky Pants, has a little bit of a brown tone to it. So what I end up doing is going in with two coats on each of the swatches here just to see if anything changes with the opacity pretty much the opacity is the same so that tells you that with just with one coat one coat would have really been enough and that is what i love about madame glam it's i like that now with this color here i wanted to go in with another um Another dose of the Shining Star because I wanted to know if the uh, the gold reflex in it would show up more, but it really didn't. So anyway, now on to the star of the show. This is a Madame Glam Soak Off Rubber Base. And again, this is in the color Brazil. I have never tried rubber base at all. And, um, you know, I was like, hmm, am I going to try rubber base or poly gel? Rubber base or poly gel? Well, I went ahead with the rubber base. Now, I thought I knew a lot. I watched plenty of videos here on YouTube. But what I seemed to forget was that first layer the first coat is supposed to be the slip layer and you don't cure it. And then you go in with the second layer to build up the nail. Well, as you saw, I cured it. So uh, that's my first mistake. Now, um, I am trying to, of course, build up an apex and then for the end of the nail and then the nail uh, closer to the cuticle, I tried to make that as thin as I could. Okay, so that's what I do on the swatch. So I'm just playing around 
And I did go ahead and turn this watch up. I did go ahead and turn it upside down just to see if it will self level like I thought I had heard. And to me, it kind of it kind of did it. I think you know, kind of made a difference. I don't know. Yeah. So <laughs> that's what happens when you're a beginner and you're not a professional. You know, it's trial and error trying to figure this out. But I did like, you know, pretty much how smooth it was. And so I said, okay, I'm ready for this. So I, this time around, I took my press-ons and went ahead and glued them straight to my nails instead of using the press-on nail stands and painting them on that way. I want to try it this way because I knew I was using this rubber base coat and I need to get used to just, you know, painting my nails regularly, trying to create an apex and uh basically I, I need to practice this way so that's what i did then i went ahead and took out my uh liner brush so i could go ahead and get more of this rubber base coat closer to my sidewalls and also my cuticle area without going on top of my skin and I think I did pretty well I think I did pretty well when it didn't work out the way I wanted to I just went ahead and took another brush and um, I did use some alcohol but I think quite a number of times I ended up using the uh, acetone nail polish remover which is another no-no I found out because basically I'm not trying to take off the polish I'm not trying to break it down I am just trying to make corrections and um, with some of that it did well into the area of where I have already painted with the rubber base gel and I think that did a little something I don't know so anyway here I go trying to uh, make it self level I'm sorry I'm out of frame here but you know for the most part I like the way the nail looked so I went on to my left pointer finger and if you haven't noticed already from all my nail videos my finger uh, pointer finger is crooked so when I put on my press on nail I just follow the same direction of my actual finger itself I don't do anything extra I know there's ways other people kind of straighten that out but um, yeah that's what I did so anyway here I go doing some cleanup here and you know I think I did okay I think this me learning how to paint on my actual finger with the press on helps me work on being more steady while I'm painting and uh, also get better with the, the liner brush which is is new it's new ever since I've been doing these nail videos here and there I've just been getting more supplies here and there things that I think I need because I plan on doing this I plan on continuing to do this to grow to get to the point where I'm not really even thinking as I'm doing my nails uh, you know get better at design so it looks like I'm not a beginner or you know <laughs> a little kid in school coloring um, I want to improve because I like doing nails it's so so relaxing okay you guys so this is the second layer okay now I call myself trying to create apex now I don't think that's in the right area I think I should have went a little further up closer to the cuticle but I don't know so here I am trying to run it down the rest of my nail without the bulk of that uh, polish going down the nail as well and I think I'm doing okay you know I think I'm doing okay this rubber base gel is thick it's a lot thicker than the regular uh, gel polishes so you know it lets you kind of move it the way you want it's not as loose as I thought it would be I thought for some reason it would be more runny um, but then at the same time I thought it would stay in place a little bit more too because I did notice the sidewalls on some of my nails I started to get a little bit of welling 
And I think that was because when I was not curing after each coat and after each nail. So yeah, anyway. So here we go. I'm trying to paint, you know, get, get it a little bit closer to my cuticle without having a bulk of that um, rubber base following me all the way to the cuticle. And you know, I think I did all right. I think I did all right. I do like the shape of my nail. I think it's cute. Here I go cleaning up again. See? Yeah. So this is, this is just practice while I'm doing this. I think I was doing this and I didn't even have music on. I didn't have anything going. I was just concentrating on what I was doing. My son, he was in his room playing one of his games and I was just content working on this. And let me tell you, time can really fly because what I end up doing, I did my left hand and I did my right hand. And then uh, I did cure both hands and then I went in with the Madam Glam No Wipe Top Coat. Um, so after I did that, I went to sleep and I did designs on my right hand, which will be coming up the next day. Yes, your girl was tired. So again, I'm brand new at this. You know, if you have any suggestions on how to use a rubber base coat, um, you know, things you learned along the way, please feel free to leave that in the comments. Uh, let me know if you've ever tried a soak off rubber base at all. Is it something you're interested in? You know, let me know. Let me know. I will say I really appreciate Madam Glam for working with me and, you know, providing me with a discount code and a link because I have that down in the description box for you guys to use if you would like and try something new like I am. You may not film it like I do, <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's nice to try something because, like I said, this rubber base now is this rubber base is brand spanking new to me so anyway I think my shape looks all right I mean it's pretty to me okay it really is pretty look at that now what I did not know is after I went to sleep and I woke up the next day um, that's when I noticed most of the wrinkling in the polish I noticed that I I really had some of these nails that were not all the way baked. They just were not. They were they were gooey inside. It's like some chocolate chip cookies you bake and you don't bake it all the way and it's still gooey inside. That's what happened. Um, upon more research, I found out that if you know if I paint my layers too too thick and that is my problem. I'm trying to work on that. I just take out too much polish and I just get to polish and as long as it look good you know I don't care but I don't really think about how thick I'm making the layers and that was one of the issues um, the other one is I think I probably should have used my my full-size lamp for curing instead of using my mini I kind of think so it probably would have made it a little bit easier but I'm not sure so that and I don't think I was curing for long enough between layers so learning experience for me but what I did do with my left hand is I kept my left hand blank so all I did was use the rubber base gel and then go in with the uh, wipe off uh, the soak off no wipe top coat on that hand and then on my right hand which i'm starting now is when i decided to use um i decided to go ahead and use my other colors that they were so kind to send me to you know just play around and make some designs um you know just see what the colors really look like on my hand so yeah and my my two oranges <laughs> 
So anyway, I'm gonna let you guys watch what I do, you know, what I create. If you're still watching at this point in the video, do me a favor and leave me some roses in the description box that lets me know you made it to this point. I really appreciate you guys. The longer you watch these videos, the better my analytics look, <laughs> okay? The longer you watch, the more my videos are pushed out to other people and you are supporting my channel, okay? So I appreciate that. So like I said, if you made it to this point, leave me some roses, all right? And I'll be back to you closer to the end of the video to talk with you again. Okay, so I don't know if you've noticed yet, but the nails I am putting designs on first are the ones that had wrinkles in them. The thumb was super bumpy, um, and, and it's because I had a half-baked thumb, so I decided to try to even it out by filing it down a little bit, and then going back in with a rubber base gel so yeah that didn't work out too well so I try to cover that up and here on my ring finger I'm just trying to you know uh, do a I guess a lopsided smile line <laughs> and go in with the shimmer star or shining star now honestly this shining star I thought would have a little bit more shine to it but I notice after my second coat, because I go in with two coats of this, that's when I started seeing a little bit more of the sparkle shine through. And you really have to look, but it's there. It's just little specks of, you know, different colors. And I like it. I really think I need to just do a set with just this color. And maybe, I don't know. Maybe use a glitter liner or something. I don't know. I'm just thinking of everything. I'm looking at these nails. I still have these nails on right now, but I actually want to file it down and change the colors. I don't know. But again, remember I told you this is really, really calming to do. So if you have never tried doing your own nails before, I invite you to go down to the description box Click on my link for Madam Glam. Pick out some polishes. Use my discount code so you can save money and of course help me out and try something new. Take time out just for yourself 
get those hands all nice and pretty. It doesn't matter if you use tips, you have press-ons, you are doing uh, builder gel, you are doing acrylic, or your natural nail. You know, see what you can do with your nails. Just take time out, sit back, don't make any appointments, you know, try just tune out and of everything else going on in the world and just tune into your nails. And then you come back to me and let me know how relaxing that was. Try it. I'm a busy mom and I have so many things on my plate that I really have to honestly make myself take time out for myself. So partnering with Madam Glam has just made it easier for me to stop what I'm doing and do something for myself. Cause let me tell you, regardless of how my designs turn out on these nails, my nails are still pretty. I am still proud of what I've done for myself and they last so long. These polishes don't chip. I have had zero problems with Madame Glam polishes. And look at, look at that burgundy. Look how deep and rich it is. It is so pretty. I actually want to do a set of nails with just this color by itself. That's how much I love this color. Also what I like is when I chose this particular color of rubber base gel, I am going outside of my comfort zone yet again. For those that know, they know my color is purple. It's not so much pink, but look at me. Look at me trying a pink color in the rubber base gel. I deserve a thumbs up for that. If you haven't given this video a thumbs up, you should thumbs me up for that just by itself because Again, I'm doing something for myself that's relaxing, it's self-care, but I'm also going outside the box with my designs, clearly, and I'm also trying something new. Trying a color I wouldn't normally try. Okay, so there we go. This is my beautiful nails. I love them. They're nice, shiny. I do have those mistakes there. You know, it's wrinkling. But it's okay. My polish is not going anywhere. My nails are done. I don't have to think about them. They're comfortable. They don't smell. They are pretty and I love them. So shout out to Madam Glam again. I thank you so much for working with me. Let me, you know, again, stretch out of my comfort zone and try something new, something that I am proud of and you guys should try it too. So if you haven't already, please make sure you go ahead and subscribe, hit the notification bell, give this video a thumbs up, and leave me a comment. Other than that, Roses, I will talk to you later. Bye!